Well, hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Wendy Outdoors. I'm Wendy and I have a lifetime of um, experience in the outdoors, camping, kayaking, hiking, uh, cooking outside, cycling. I just love to be out and I have a variety of activities that I enjoy. So I'm inviting you to come along and um, today I'm at a beach right fairly close to my house and a rocky section of the beach but there's nobody down here and that's what I like. So today I'm going to wander along the beach a bit and um, try out my new uh, Solo Light alcohol slash twig stove and I'm going to try to cook some um, I'm going to make some tea and I'm also going to try some cornmeal muffins slash pancakes. So um, if you care to join me, I'd love to have you and uh, I'll find going to just walk along the beach and find a place that's suitable for that. So I'll get back to you after I clamber over a whole lot of rocks. Okay, well here's the beach I'm on. I'm walking along a, one of the small sandy sections here and uh, beautiful, beautiful spot. I'm really fortunate to live in such a terrific area uh, with easy access to this kind of view and this kind of environment. It really calls you outside, doesn't it? We've had a really a wet, cold spring and uh, this, uh, this afternoon there was a flash of sun and I thought, this is it, I'm, uh, I'm getting out. So here we are and um, See, I'm going to just get up. I'm going to have to climb up over all these rocks. So I'll be turning off the camera while I do that because I'm probably going to need all my wits about me just to not end up tripping. I'm not big into injury. As I get older, I uh, find that our injuries don't actually heal all that quickly. <laughs> so my, uh, my goal is to avoid them. So when I get up into this section up here, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, I've got my things all out here. What I brought today was my uh, billy can. I uh, put in a, uh, a bit of water for some, um, some tea. I'm going to make that first. And this is my Solo uh, Light Alcohol Slash Twig Stove. So it's quite compact inside the stove. You can carry your um, al alcohol already in the container. Uh, when I tried it at home, I had tried isopropyl alcohol and I found that there was a lot of carbon and I was not happy with the amount of yellow-orange flame that came up the sides. It was really highly visible. A lot of places really not supposed to have fires on the beach and it was definitely looking like a fire. Uh, I'm not going to do the twig stove here because I think that's against the rules, but I'm going to use my alcohol stove. and. Uh, so I'm using methyl hydrate or methyl alcohol and it seems to burn with a much cleaner flame. So I'm going to just set that down here and um, take the lid off. Now I haven't tried to moderate the amount of heat, the amount of flame that there is, but I see that, that you can. Um, it comes with this little cap which you can use for putting it out. But also, it opens, and I think when I go to cook my little cornmeal muffins uh, or cakes, they're more like pancakes, uh, I'll just try, I'll experiment with closing that after I heat the pan up. And when things get too hot, you can just pop the lid on and uh, it'll help put the stove out. So I'm new at this, like I said, and uh, I'm pretty interested in seeing how it goes. So um, I'm just going to light this. Just put your hand over it and you can feel it, but you can't see the flame. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want to be making a blaze up here on a beach, which is really, certainly in the summer, it's not supposed to have any fires. So I'll put uh, my pot on. Now it takes a while to boil. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm going to cook. I think um, I noticed when I did it before, it took about nine minutes or so to come to a rolling boil. So I'm going to have some tea. The tea I brought today is from the Denman Island Tea Company, which is an island off the east coast of Vancouver Island where I live. 
and um, I ordered some, I've, I've really fallen in love with their teas. This isn't a sponsorship, it's just that I love their teas. I only discovered them last fall, actually, and I've, I've just become a dedicated fan. They, their website has lots of different teas you can order, they're mailed to you. And this one came as a sample with my last order, and it's a, a mint bergamot. And um, I must say, I've got two favorites so far. One is a, a mango tea, and the other is a strawberry mint. And they would both be wonderful, hot or cold. And I imagine this would be fine um, as well if it was cold. But today, it's still cool out, so we're having it hot. Uh, this isn't the ideal way to do it. But I'm going to try it in my, I'm just putting some in my little strainer here, my bamboo tea maker. And I can put it down low so that it'll actually have a chance to sit in the water. I've got a much better system at home, but I haven't mastered loose tea out camping. I've got a, a container up at a little off-grid cabin that I go to that, that might work quite well. So anyway, onward and and trying to see what we can do here. So what I like to do is make my own uh, pancake slash bannock slash muffin mix at home. And if it turns into bannock, uh, a muffin type or a pancake, depends really on how much water and eggs and things you put in it. It's a mix of cornmeal, baking powder, powdered milk, and flour, of course, uh, a little bit of sugar, and some salt. And um, so what I did is I just put some in here today, and I brought with me some uh, oil to add to it and to put into my pan. And I didn't bring an egg. I figured um, we'd try it without the egg, and it should be fine. And I also brought a bit of butter, and a little bit of maple syrup. So, um, and I've got my little dish from the from my billy can, and I can get that going once my water heats up. So, um, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the view while I wait for my tea, and when I'm ready to make the, these uh, these little pancake muffins, I'll get right back to you. Okay, well you can see we've got a rolling boil here. So it's time for making tea. I've learned to carry gloves with me uh, when I'm working with pots and hot stoves outside, fires. Seems to uh, actually be worth bringing because, yeah, see, hot. All right, so handles also often get pretty hot. So I'm going to just pop this down here, put my other glove on because I'm going to hold the end up, this gives me better control and I'm going to pour away into my tiny little tea strainer. Well, I can see I'm going to get tea leaves in here but yeah, I don't think that matters. <laughs> put that on there. Let it steep for a bit, and in the meantime, I'm, I've poured a little bit of oil into here. I'm going to heat that up, and while I'm um, getting that nice and hot, I'm going to take up my, my mix, and I'm going to pour a little bit of oil in there, and then some water, mix it up to a consistency that I think real uh, realistic and for what I want um, certainly bringing it in a baggie is not a great thing with the plastic I realize but it was what I had today and my other containers were full so I'm just going to add some water and well, I can see we're getting some bubbles going here give it a mix We are definitely going to be more like pancakes. See, it doesn't take very much water to get this going. That's okay. You know, it all tastes the same. It's slightly different shape. 
same ingredients. So, all right. What I don't know is how long that amount of alcohol will actually stay burning. Right now, it looks pretty darn hot to me. All right, I think we need to steady this a bit. It's got air holes around here, so I don't want to cover them all up. But I just want to make sure that this doesn't tip over and cause me a problem. You know, I have not used this little frying pan. And maybe they got rid of it to the thrift store because it's not got a level bottom. Anyway, let's see what happens. Okay. You say nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So. All right. It's bubbling away. And it's a new experience. <laughs> I'm all about that. I love trying new things. And um, this is definitely one of them. So, I would say, not looking too bad. I think I'm gonna just hang on to the handle though. Have a look. Can you see? And there's my stove. It's got a little bit of yellow down at the base. And I can see the level of the alcohol's going down. But I did bring some more, so if I if I need it, um, I'll just, I, I will add some more. It's not hard to do, that's for sure. And really, I'm sitting here on the beach having a beautiful time. There's no wind. Uh, we've had some real windy, wet weather lately. And today, although I'm sitting in the shade, I'm not cold. And uh, there's lots of bugs out. They're flying around my face, but they're not biting. I'm not quite sure what kind of bugs they are. Oh, look, starting to bubble. Just like a regular old pancake. It's great. Let me have a look and see what it's doing. Well, I think it's about ready to turn over. It's not taking very long. Wow, look at that. I would say this is working quite well. But the proof is in the taste. So uh, I'll, you'll have to take my word for it if it tastes all right. But yeah, this is working awesome. I'm really, really happy about it. I see there's people way down the beach, uh, none up here. There's a big sandy section down that way, and um, there's always tons of people down there. You're not allowed to let your dogs run loose, and, but um, people do on occasion. It's very hard to resist the dog's desire to run freely over the beach and through the waves. So on the odd occasion, I've probably been guilty, but um, he's too old to run on the beach now anyway. So. Hey, this is coming along quite nicely. I'll just give it another minute or so, and then we'll um, put it in the pan and I'll put my little stove out. See, I'm pretty, pretty happy, <laughs> you guess you can tell. This is a great little stove. There we go. Into the pan she goes. All right, now, you take this little lid and carefully pop it on the top and in a little bit it'll go out so all right that's a little bit dark on that side but not bad at all perfect on this side so i've got my butter and i'll I've got some syrup. Funny, weird little knife. The fork hen's covered in pancake batter. So this will be a, a finger one. So here we go. I think we'll just eat it in pieces. And I'm going to have a check on my tea. this out. Smells great. So, first taste. Let's see how it goes. Butter didn't melt too well, but 
so we don't even need it with all that syrup on there. Okay, I didn't bring a napkin or a cloth, but I do have a cloth, cloth bag, so all right, let's give it a go. Okay, perfectly cooked through. You can see it only took a very short amount of time. So, I'm really happy. So I'm gonna get back to you in a minute. Well, that was great. It was really, really good. Um, while I was eating, I also just put on the, there was a bit of, of the batter left. So I put in another one and I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna take it home and uh, my husband or I'll eat it later. And then I was looking around for, I usually carry a small you know, bag for some garbage with me. Um, I realized I didn't pack one. But as anyone who has a dog usually has in their pocket, one or more dog bags. So yes, um, I put in my dirty dishes and my used uh, mixing bag. And what I'm gonna do while this is all cooling off, I've turned the stove off. I'm just gonna turn around and sit and look at the view. So uh, maybe you'd like to sit for a minute or two with me and I'm gonna have my tea. always something to watch when you come to the beach. You think you're alone, but you're not. <laughs> All kinds of creatures here. It's very beautiful. It's quiet. I don't know if you can hear the birds and hear the eagles. is good. Still not my favorite. The other two are still still winners. But still good. Well, I think that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed sharing my uh, little mini adventure, my little mini outdoor trip. It doesn't take a lot. And you know, as I've got older, I realized that, you know, I love the outdoors. I've always known that. But I've had to just change the way I do outdoors. I still like to have some adventures, uh, small A adventures, uh, versus the large A, which I used to enjoy. And I just have to moderate what I do. But I think my goal is to get out. Getting outside is therapeutic for me. It's uh, healthy, mentally, physically, spiritually, in all ways. And uh, when I feel down in the winter sometimes, if I just get out and go for a walk, I mean, that might be all that can happen. Um, and I know some people who love the outdoors can't even really get out for a walk because of their own limitations and uh, so they sit out they can look out the window I know people who just love to sit look out the window enjoy the birds um, go for a drive somebody drive them to the beach you know we all change as we get older and we have to change the way that we can still do the things that we love or at least see them so um, this uh, my next uh, video is going to be on this is going to be a canoe video i hope um i bought myself an ultralight canoe which i can it's a solo so i can handle it myself 
and I think. And as a former kayaker, I, I, I'm going to be double blading it. And I haven't, um, I've only had about a 20 minute paddle in it and I want to practice some paddle skills. So I'm planning to go up to a lake near here and um, practice. So um, if the weather is willing, uh, I'll invite you to come along and join me. And um, I don't know quite how I can paddle and film at the same time. All of this is new, but what the heck? Nothing like a new project and a new adventure. So um, thanks for being here today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you'll come again. And if you liked, um, if you enjoyed your visit with me, please hit the subscribe and uh, you'll be notified when I get out on that canoe trip. All right then, bye-bye for now and thanks for watching.